2012 has loads of apocalyptic special effects to wow your action junkies. In fact, the movie serves up almost three non-stop hours of devastating fireballs, tsunamis, and earthquakes. But parents, underneath all the dizzying action is a disturbing prediction about the death of millions of people. This film is actually pretty depressing and could end up worrying your younger kids. California is going down. God, you sound like a crazy person. The governor just said we're fine now. The guy's an actor. He's reading a script. When they tell you not to panic, that's when you run. This sci-fi thriller was inspired by a Mayan prophecy that supposedly names 2012 as the year that the world will end. In the story, the sun starts overheating the planet, causing several massive natural disasters. A secret project is underway to rescue only the world's most important people. In the midst of all this, one man, played by John Cusack, tries to save his family. 2012 is definitely an exciting disaster movie. And while there's very little blood and gore, the destruction scenes are relentless and can be overwhelming. Dread, death, and loss run throughout this thriller as every worst case scenario comes to life. People fight, often futilely, to save themselves and others. The end result is unsettling to say the least. Oh my God. This is not a movie for kids or even for many adults who are anxious about the state of the world. However, fans of this genre will find some of the special effects truly impressive. If your teens do end up seeing 2012, then check in with them about the enormity of the destruction in the film. Common Sense says that 2012 is an iffy choice for teens ages 13 and up. For more reviews and advice, visit us at commonsense.org. I'm Jim Steyer.